So today we will learn multiplication of vectors. There are two types of multiplication of vectors. The first one is called dot product or scalar product. The formula is a dot b equal to a b cos theta. Why is it called a scalar product? Because the product we get is a scalar quantity. This scalar quantity only has magnitude. The second one is called the cross product or vector product. The formula is a cross b equal to a b sin theta. Why is it called a vector product? Because the product we get is a vector quantity. A cross b, we get another vector which is vector c. This vector c has both magnitude and direction. Here are some examples of dot product. The first one is called the work done. Work done equal to f dot s equal to fs cos theta. The second example is power. Power equal to f dot v equal to fv cos theta. Both of these work done and power are scalar quantities. That's why dot product is also called scalar product. Now, the examples of cross product. For cross product, we have torque. Torque equal to R cross F equal to FR sine theta. In the playground, we have the bicycle. The boy is applying torque onto the bicycle wheel. And then, we also have the seesaw. Seesaw also apply the concept of torque. This torque is a vector quantity. That's why cross product is also called a vector product. Torque can also be applied in the garage. In the garage, we have the wrench. We have the car wheel. This wrench and car wheel both apply torque. The last example for cross product is called the magnetic force. The formula is FB equal to QV cross B equal to dqv sine theta. Magnetic force is another vector quantity. That's why cross product is called the vector product. Now let us dig deeper into dot product. What is mean by dot product? Here we have two vectors, vector A and vector B, separated by anchor theta. So, how to multiply these two vectors together using dot product? How to multiply them together? First, we have to resolve vector B into two components. The parallel component to vector A, which is B cos theta, and the perpendicular component B sin theta. So remember how we resolve the vector? For angle, we use cos theta. No angle, use sin theta. So the general formula for dot product is A dot B equal to A B cos theta. So what does it mean by A B cos theta? Ah, you see that? B cos theta? Ah, B cos theta is the parallel component to vector A. So vector, so dot product A dot B means that we use the parallel component which is B cos theta to multiply with vector A. Similarly, since we can resolve vector B, 
we can also resolve vector A. Uh, we resolve vector A into parallel component A cos theta and the perpendicular component A sin theta. So B dot A equal to B A cos theta means that uh, we use the parallel component which is A cos theta parallel to the vector B. Okay, we use the A cos theta to multiply with vector B. B A cos theta. Okay. So do you notice that for dot product, we always use the parallel component only to multiply with vector B another vector. Uh, we, we ignore the perpendicular component. We ignore the perpendicular component. We only use the parallel component to multiply with another vector. So no matter A dot B or B dot A, we get the same thing. A, B cos theta. Okay, and this is a scalar quantity. Got magnitude, no direction. So they get the same thing. A, B cos theta and B, A cos theta is the same thing. So we can conclude that they fulfill the commutative law, which is A dot B is equal to B dot A. Okay? Now, we need to differentiate the difference between dot product and cross product. Just now we learned that dot product is we use the parallel component to multiply with another vector. Uh, we use the uh, B cos theta, the parallel component of vector B, to multiply with the partner vector A. A dot B equal to AB cos theta. Okay? Use the parallel component. But for cross product, Okay, we also resolve vector B into two components, parallel and perpendicular component. The general formula for cross product, A cross B equal to AB sin theta, means that ah, we use the perpendicular component of vector B, which is B sin theta, to multiply with vector A. Okay, so vector A multiply with the perpendicular component B sin theta. Okay, the product use the parallel component to multiply. Cross product use the perpendicular component to multiply with the another vector. Okay, so the one which is not chosen is being ignored. Okay, so now we need to learn how to determine the direction of cross product. We learned that cross product is a vector product you will get a vector quantity. Vector has a direction. Okay, so how to determine the direction of the vector? We use the right hand rule. Not left hand, but right hand. So, A cross B, you get another vector C. Okay, vector C, C is a vector. It has direction. And to determine direction of vector C, we use the right hand rule. Here we have two vectors, vector A and vector B. This is the direction of vector A and B. So where is vector C? How to determine the vector's direction of vector C? Okay, so the sequence here is important. A, it starts from A, A cross B. Uh, it start from A. So, first of all, our, our forefinger point to A because it starts from A so our forefinger point to A and then A cross B means A sweep to B you see A cross B means A cross B A cross B A sweep to B A cross B A sweep to B uh, you see that A sweep to B so it starts from A sweep to B so now, our thumb is pointing up. Uh, our thumb shows the direction of vector C. Uh, so, our vector C is upward. Okay? 1, 2, 3. The sequence is important. Start from A, fit to B. So, 
How about B cross A? Is it the same as A cross B? Uh, just now, for dot product, A dot B and B dot A, they get the same thing. Uh, they get the same thing because it is just a scalar quantity with no direction. So they get the, they are equal. But is it the same case as cross product? Is it A cross B also equal to B cross A? Let's look together. So B cross A, the sequence is important. It start from B, start from B. So our four finger must point to B first. B cross A, B cross A. Uh, means B sweep to A, B sweep to A, B cross A, B sweep to A, B cross A, B sweep to A, B cross A, B sweep to A. So our thumb is pointing downward. Uh, that is our direction of vector C, which is negative C. Negative means it is opposite. It is opposite to the vector C just now, which is upward. Uh, B cross A get negative C. Uh, it is opposite to vector C just now. So, here we can see that A cross B and B cross A, they are different. Not the same. Not the same. Instead, A cross B is equal to negative B cross A because they have opposite direction. Okay, opposite direction. They have same magnitude but opposite direction. Okay? So remember our four finger uh, refer to the vector A and B, but our thumb is referring to the vector C. Okay? So I hope you enjoy this lesson. So, please hit the subscribe button so to keep these channels going. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thank you.